<laughs> so Penny has the sniffles this morning. Oh, well, it's, I guess the sniffles because it, her nose kind of sounded clogged a bit. <laughs> Other than that, everything is normal. Like, she still smells and jitters and moves around like normal. Yeah, it's just on your nose that sounds like it's clogged. Um, lately, for the past, I think, two nights, we didn't have a chance to do the good night thing because I find she gets tired like right before nine, like right after I change her, she gets so fussy. She's like, I want to eat, I want to sleep. So I didn't have a chance to like tape her her good nights. And oh my god. Last night I was trying to edit the video. I usually edit right after she goes to sleep in the room. And my body was just so tired. I had to like stop editing, shut everything down and go to sleep. Like I went to bed. She went to bed at nine thirty. I went to bed at ten. Like, it was so tired. My body's just, like, shutting off. Like, it was so strong of a feeling that, you know, okay, Cindy, stop editing, go sleep. <laughs> Haven't really been giving her a lot of kisses lately, too, because I'm sick. Well, I feel fine, but it's just the lingering of the sore throat. I don't have the sniffles or the cold. But I know because of the sore throat, I have the virus in me, so. I miss kissing you. I miss kissing your cheeks, so. So it was my coworker first time meeting Penny yesterday. And it's so weird, like, Penny just lit up and smiled as if she recognizes her. And what I think it was is that she recognizes her voice because my coworker always worked with me mostly every day. And when we go to work, we have a very close bond because we're both um, managers, right? So we communicate a lot with each other. And like, it's amazing how Penny just like, oh, I know you, you know, her face just lit up. And it was really pretty cool seeing that. So little Miss P went through three sleepers today because um, I think she has diarrhea. Um, well, for sure she has diarrhea for in order to go through three sleepers. And that was like every time I put a new one on, she'll soil it really fast. <laughs> so right now I'm out of sleepers because we got to do laundry. And I put her in just, you know, a day, a day clothes. Nothing too fancy. Um, we did have a doctor's appointment today with our doctor, but then the nurse, the receptionist, booked us on the wrong rotation, so it was actually a different doctor that we'll be seeing. And I'm like, no, I'd rather have my own family doctor follow up with her because it's a bit more consistent that way, so we could wait for next week. So her doctor's appointment's next week instead of today. And today's pretty gloomy too so I didn't want to like be stuck in traffic going all the way to the other side of town yeah it's literally a good 45 minutes drive from here to to my family doctor the reason why everything is everywhere because I move a lot so um, that's why you know my doctor's in one end of the city and my parents live the other end and I live somewhere else like we just move a lot that's all yeah, and I think the reason why is because I'm sick or she's trying to repel the virus too or that because I downed um, a one liter orange juice carton within 24 hours because I want to get better and so far I sound pretty good. I don't sound sick, no snuffles, just a little bit of sore throat and it helped me a lot too because I do the hot orange juice and with I think because the orange juice is so acidic, I think baby digestive system is slowly processing it and can't really process as much, therefore it's diarrhea. But she's acting, you know, right, like normal and she doesn't have a fever or anything. 
So I just got to watch her um, to see if she, like, hopefully she doesn't get dehydrated. So I have to watch her diaper. It was a pretty messy morning. Let's hope you could stay clean in this one, baby. Hope you could stay clean. Yes. Yes. Oh, what are you doing with the camera? Oh. Grab the camera again. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so I have little Miss P there playing. I'm going to show you guys what we got yesterday. So it's a mini haul. Mostly the stuff I got was for Penelope. So we got these little bloomers. And a top, a matching top because of this design here. This was 50% off and this was 30% off. So this one, original price $17.99. We got it for um, $8.50, I believe. Yeah, $9. No, we got it for $9. And this one, $24.99, is 30% off. So I got it for $17.50. I think it's super adorable like that. So, yes. So that's from, this is from Gap Factory. But sometimes Gap Factory do sell like retail baby Gap stuff, which is not too bad. Gap Factory and regular Gap store or baby Gap is two different stores. It's the same company under the same banner, but um, the products that they sell is totally different. So whatever you find in Gap Factory, you will not find in the regular Gap store. Now, we went to Children's Place also because they were having a sale there. And we bought... <clears throat> I bought um, this because it was $1.99. Because they had from $9.99 to $1.99. So I got to buy it. But I bought her a bigger size so it's good for the fall season. So she has something for the fall already. And then I think this one's super adorable with the dog and the bow and same thing um, this is $7.99 and then it got reduced to $1.99 also got her a headband a purple one and it's $1.99 also and then we got a romper a denim romper I always wanted a denim romper for her so this was on sale for $4.99 I think original price was $24.95 so yeah $20 off hello gotta have it and then we also bought something else that I can't show you because it's a gift to my nephew. So, and I know my sister-in-law watches these video logs, so I can't show it. Okay, um, next I went to H&M and found this bloomers. I love like shorts with little ruffle on their butts. It's just so cute. So this one was on sale for $3 from $7 to $3. So we just got that from H&M. And then we went to Guess Factory store. Only Guess Factory carries baby and infants. If you go to any regular Guess store, retail store, they do not carry that. So people out there, if you're looking for a baby, well, this is Canada. If you're looking for infants and baby clothes, go to Guess Factory. So I got her this and matching polka dot leggings. I think it's super cute with the ruffles and the guests. This is what I got her. And then the whole point of me going to the mall was to like, yes, um, meet up with my coworker, but also look for sleepers. And finally, finally, winners had the sleepers that I like. The ones with the button front and button on the crotch. Not crazy about the design, but it took if it takes me forever just to find stuff like this, I take it. I'll buy it right away. What is this extra button here for? That's so weird. Oh no, I got a defect one. Because they're supposed to be unless they button it wrong. No, 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 no. Oh, I got a defected one. Jeez Louise! She's going to have a cold bit or whatever. I'll fix it. Yeah, there was supposed to be a, a closure here, but a snap closure. 
Anywho, so these are the two sleepers that um, we got her. They were $7.99 each, but I got uh, credits um, from them before. So I used a credit on these two sleepers. So practically it was free, I guess you could say. God had to use it. I had the credit since like, I don't know, over a year already. So I have to use it sometimes. And that's our little mini haul for Miss P, even though we're supposed to get sleepers, but then got her all these ones. I don't even know how much I spent. Um, let me check my receipt. 27. And then 27. And then 8. 30. So all these were like 30 so dollars, I guess you could say. Oh, the guess I had a gift card, so I used my gift card on that. I didn't have to spend any money on it. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it. 30 bucks for all this. I think it's pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. And she's so happy playing. Just dropped off my set of keys to the security desk where I used to live um, so that the landlord could come and pick it up. Honestly, I've only seen my landlord once and that was when we went to see the viewing and that's it. That was the only time I've seen him. It's a pretty gloomy, crappy day. It's going to rain all day. I have a headache since last night, or middle of the night until now. I usually find that when the pressure is low or that when it rains, I get headaches or migraine. What could you do? What could you do? I kind of feel like having a hot cup of tea or a hot coffee for some reason too. I only took one Advil like early in the morning and that's it. I didn't take any more. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't work, the Advil. Because it's not going away. Just got home. Trying to see where my baby's at. Oh, I'm so dark. Oh, I can hear my mom sing. So that means she's awake. <laughs> Did she poop? <laughs> but is it like sup lap lap? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did she sleep? Oh, really? Oh, that's good. It's been a crappy day. My headache's not going away no matter what I'm trying to do. Oh, I think it is the rain, the, the low pressure. Well. We thought we could eat leftovers from last night's dinner, but apparently my brother brought it up to the kitchen and he had a little bit for lunch or breakfast, brunch, whatever. Then he left it there. So my mom thought it was garbage, so she threw it all out. And it was a lot of food still, like it was like four containers still. So she threw it out. So now we're going to order dinner because um, my dad said he will be home late, so he kept um, bringing dinner back, and so we're just going to order dinner here. My my parents or my family, they don't really believe in cooking dinners. A lot of taking out or eating dinner out and eating a lot of leftovers from whatever they ordered out. So they don't really do grocery shopping, only like the bare minimum of grocery shopping. Uh, it's just that because they work like crazy schedules so they don't know when they'll be home on time or if they have time to cook and stuff like that. So that's why they eat a lot of takeouts or eat at the restaurants. Only time my mom would cook would be when I'm over for dinner like on the weekends or whatever but I we'll have yeah, to plan ahead. So, it's 10% off paying my cash. Oh, yeah? Okay. 
uh, even though I feel so crappy today, it is Penny's three months, and I want to do a three month postpartum um, video. Oh my god, I can't even think. That's how painful my head is throbbing right now. Um, yeah, I want to do a postpartum update um, in three months. Penny must be super tired because I placed her down at 4.20 and the time now is 6.25 so it's been two hour nap. She already missed her 6 o'clock feeding because I don't want to wake her up to feed her. I hear my baby cry. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. 6.44. So we had a pretty exciting um, one hour because when she woke up from her two hour nap, I picked her up and she decided to project out. I don't want to say project out vomit, but vomit. I just want to show you how much she, it came out. That was the sweater I was wearing when I had her and it went also onto my bag and everywhere. So. That was the first sign, and then obviously she started crying, and the more she cried, her nose was sauce uh, stuck up. So I got this aspirator from my um, from my brother, from my sister-in-law, and it's called the HydraSense Nasal Aspirator Kit. And now this is an amazing product. I love this, and I think I'm going to buy my own. And I think it works compared to the other turkey baster style that are out there. So now this kit comes with five saline solution, a filter, and this contraption here, down here, is an aspirator. So what you do is you put your mouth in here to suck, and you put this part in the baby's nose. Now the filter, you open this up. And you put the filter just right there and that's it. That will trap any snot or anything coming up from the valve. And then the saline, so once you set this up, you open up a saline solution. You put it down your baby's nose um, just to like uh, hydrate the mucus, I guess, to, to let it, I don't know, come off. I don't know, just hydrate it or make it easier to suck. Hi, baby. I know, you're happy now. And then um, just once you put the saline in and just start sucking away with this and just put it in each nose and just suck. And it, it really works because uh, I don't know if you can see, like, there's that chunk of, like, it's not in mucus in there. So it worked right away and it cleared her sinuses up very fast. Because I wanted to feed her too, so I can't heart, like can't feed her if her nose was clogged, so I had to do that first. And then I fed her, but then when I tried to place her down, because she was like dozy, she decided to puke again. So we had to change her out, and now, and now here we are. Oh, I also got a thermometer from my sister-in-law too. Now this is pretty cool. It's an air thermometer. Um, you could do. There's thermometers for the air, thermometers for the armpit, or even rectum. <laughs> I know. You're good now. Oh my God. We had crazy hour, didn't we, baby? Now I just want to show you this one. It's pretty cool. Oh, did I hit you? Oh, sorry, baby. This has a plastic. Uh, I guess a plastic cover it comes with and you just press the button once and that will check the current temperature of the room and this one is only for the air okay and then once you do it you put it in your baby's ear you hold on to it until it beeps and then you take the reading so right now she's 36.6 she doesn't have a fever anything that's 37 and above or 37 and a half and above you that's a fever so she, right now she's pretty good she's calm now because we changed into another um another dry jammies and i changed her diapers so i want to try feeding her again 
Hey baby. Yeah. Oh, my poor baby. So I don't know if you could hear, she still has that congestive, like, sound coming from her. <laughs> Other than that, she smileys. But that last hour, she will not stop crying. And me having my headache, it's not helping either, too. So it's just like, oh. But thank God my brother, younger brother, is home to help me out. So it was good. Because if he wasn't home, I would be like frantically, I don't know what I would do. Like run out and get the mom ridders and run out and get nasal aspirator myself. So like, I don't know what to do. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yay. That's very good. You can hold your hands together. Okay. Say goodnight.